Hi guys, and welcome back to Reed's Readers with your host, Clinton Reed Britain and Wish Bear's here to help me with this video. So we're gonna do a laid back kind of video here. And so I'm sitting kind of at an angle. As you see the title of this video, which God knows when this will go up, I am doing a five star prediction video, but I'm only going to be using Mel Mel Romances. Well, one I think is labeled a cozy mystery, but they're all Mel Mel Romances. So, I have been seeing several of my friends lately. Um, most recently I saw Nikki from Nikki's Bookish Coven. You all know Nikki and love her. Um, if you don't, who the fuck are you and why are you on my channel? Um, some of these were gifts. Matter of fact, I think three out of four were gifts. Um, I've seen them doing like these five star predictions for the quarter. So, I know January's already. Ugh. If I read one of these in January, awesome. If I don't, awesome. So, I'm giving myself until the end of May. Is how we're going to do this. We're going to do February, March, April, and May. So, four months. Treat these and come back, hopefully. If not, I'm hoping to at least have them finished by the end of, like, by beginning of June, at least. Um, some of these are going to be read next month or the next. So, I can tell you that a few of these have, like, we know exactly why that's going to be a five star for me. A couple of the others are like, eh. Dun, dun, dun. That's why I wanted to do this. And none of these are authors I've read before. Don't think. Mm. Nope. I have not read a single author before. And if it was a gift, I'll let you know. Um, none of these are from Nikki. That's okay. But these are just ones that I'm like, I feel passionate about these in this present time. Let's Y'all are here for the books, not for me to... Yeah, bro. So, let's get started. So, book one is Best Men by Sydney Carter. All I know about this one, which I have seen this everywhere in the Mel Mel Romance community, and this was on some people's best of lists that I saw in the Mel Mel community for 2023. Um, I do believe this came out last year. Um, yeah, it came out last May. Um, I know I got this off of Panko Books. But um, all I know is this little bit up here. When two best men in a wedding party fall for each other, they realize love isn't a piece of cake in this hilarious and heartfelt romantic comedy debut by screenwriter Sidney Carger. Do we know what he's wrote? Hold on. Uh, besides Saturday Night Live. I have no idea what else he's wrote, but this also has, like, a minor, um, mixed media element to it, because I know there's, like, text messages throughout, newspaper clippings, list ideas for bachelorette parties, um, like I said, text messages. I know there are moments where you actually get, like, the wedding invitations. And I know there's moments 
Like, there's not, like, a lot of it. I call it mixed media. But you get the actual phone text messages. So that's kind of cool. I know it starts off with newspaper clippings and stuff. So I'm super excited to finally give this a try. This is the one that I know for a fact. I'm hoping it'll be on February's TBR for a certain readathon. Hint, hint, Nikki. Hint, hint. Okay, this next one was gifted to me by my husband's significant other, my husband's boyfriend, don't ask, Tatum, who gifted me Madison Square Murders by C.S. Poe, which is Memento Mori, book one in the series. I know there's four books, the fourth book comes out this year. Um, this follows Everett Larkin, who works for a cold case squad, an elite understaffed and overworked group of detectives who solved the forgotten death of New York City. Fuck, <sighs> Susan. I know he ends up something to do with the detective Ira Doyle, his polar opposite in every way. Um And now it's him and him solving my mysteries on um, I just think that's gonna be so much fun and I know each of the titles are like Madison Square Murders uh Brooklyn something Broadway or Broadway something Brooklyn like Subway something something like there's an alliteration between the first word and the last word both starting with the same letter and I think that's fascinating and I typically rate books with white covers typically get a higher rating from me. I don't know what that is. Matter of fact, every white cover that I have read that is within my presence, present area, have all been five stars. So let's see if that sticks. Next is a book that I randomly came across on a video. Someone mentioned it. I don't remember where I found this, but I instantly went to Amazon and purchased. Um, and that is Loki and His Master by Ra Reese, Reese Lawson, which is book one in the Demon Gods series. I know this is like a spinoff of another series, but I'm more interested in this one. Um, I know book two has Hades. Book three comes out this year and will be set or seed set from Egyptian mythology. Um, what it says back here is the trickster god is free and he's under my command. When I asked the old witch under Camden Locke, for help with avenging, avenging my family's murder, I didn't expect her solution would be to invoke a powerful god. Loki is big, strong, and pissed. Thankfully, he's bound to me so he can't hurt me, but the only way he'll ever help me get my revenge is if I help him find someone really important first. The problem is, the more time I spend with him, the less I'm able to resist him. This is a romance between Loki, the trickster god of Norse mythology, and a male witch. Hit love hate relationship. I am all fucking here for it. I really hope I like it because I really want to know about Hades and Set, and I love a good mythology retelling, and this just sounds. Like, a whole lot of fun. Like, look at Loki on the cover. Isn't he, like, sexy as fuck with that beard and the chest? Oh, I'm excited. Maybe a little too excited for that. Listen. Let me take a drink so I can cool down. Whew. 
Next, okay. So the next one was gifted to me by Kaylani for Christmas, I think. Yes. This is also a controversial author. I've seen a lot of controversial things about this author in different places, but I've also seen this author on Mel Mel Romance best of lists. Like, five of their books. Is it a she or is it a he? Five of her books that I know of off the top of my head are on the best of Mel Mel Romance's of all time type list. So I am super excited to find out if this author works for me. And I'm so happy this will be the first one I try. And that is Iced Out by C.E. Ricci, which is a book one in the Leighton U series. All I know is hockey romance. And this tends to be a lot of people's favorite hockey romances of all time. And I'm sorry. <laughs> they gotta compete with like Pucking Around and the Him series. But I'm sorry, speaking of white covers, they've gotta compete with him. They're gonna compete with my Jamie and Ryan. So. All I know is, yeah, that it's a hockey romance. I really don't want to know anything else besides hockey and two, uh, two hot hockey men. You know, indie books just do it better. Like there. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited. And then the last one I have on this list was gifted to me by Dana. I think this was a just cause type of thing that Dana does from time to time for people. And that is Breakfast at Timothy's. Which, matter of fact, the day I added it to my wish list was the day she ordered it for me. So. All I know is this is a fresh out of college guy named Timothy who ends up being able to work for his favorite movie star of all time. His favorite diva of all time, Mercedes Ford. He's seen all of her movies. He's put, ooh, excuse me, oodles on her tickets to her Broadway shows. And now he lives in her penthouse. Wow. Pardon that. Sorry. And he's like, oh my god, I get to, like, knock elbows with all the rich and famous. Maybe I'll become the famous journalist I've always wanted to be. And then he finds a dead body. And guess what? He's the number one suspect of the murder. And he also just met a really cute boy. So his life was going up is now going down. So now he needs to solve the murder to prove his innocence. Where he's going to, to be, what I liked about it, it's down here, where is it? Da -da 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 -da. Timothy seeks out to warm the truth from an oddball cast of characters, including a sourpuss housekeeper, a vindictive former employee, a wacko Brit with delusions of grandeur, and even Mercedes... Toy boy husband. I am so excited and I can't believe I haven't read this yet. Probably because it's one of those ones that I'm going to have to read physically. And we all know how life can be. Ooh, this author has a lot. Ooh, if I like this, we has quite a bit. I'm excited. I think I said that about all of these. But I really am excited for all of these. And I'm really hoping that I give all five of these five stars. 
Um, comment down below and let me know which one of these you think is going to be my favorite out of the five. Because I'm thinking when I come back with the video where I'm going to discuss these five, I'm going to um, rank them on how much I enjoyed them. And I'm wondering if one of these five is going to be my favorite book of 2024, or at least in my top five of 2024. This is that journey I'm taking on. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Have you read any of these? Let me know. Are you interested in reading any of them? Let me know too. Do you like this kind of concept of me choosing five books like this? Let me all know down below. Also, do you think I'm going to find another five star just because the cover is white? Let me know. Legitimate. Oh, well, I can think of a white book that got a 4.5. That I'm staring at right now. That one got a five. That one got a five. That has a five star series. That was a five star. Um, that was a five star. That was a five star. Five star, five star, five star, five star. Um, <laughs> five star. Yeah. So, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys join me in this whole, am I going to love these books or am I going to hate them all? Also, comment down and let me know, what is one book you have on your TBR, no matter the genre, that you think you will give five stars? Let me know. But until next time, kids, um, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you're new, you might as well hit that subscribe and you might as well hit that bell icon so you can get notified when my next videos go up so you can find out how I'm doing with this list. I don't know why I'm going with this whole ending. But until next time, kids, always be a fabulously yourself. And also... Always reach for the stars, cause you'll never reach, cause you'll never reach them. Bye!